Here is where we are at in Next Gen Season 4. Fast, able to make the upper bracket final. We have Dark versus Ahmad in the other semifinal to see who meets him there. Chat, here we go. We've got Dark versus Ahmad in the other upper bracket semifinal of Next Gen Season 4. We weren't able to watch Ahmad earlier in his win over Dr. Known. We saw Dark versus Muhammad. He played well there. We'll see how these matchups go to see who wins the, the winner's final. What am I saying? Who makes it to the winner's finals? We've seen Dark versus Ahmad before. We've seen Dark versus Ahmad before. In fact, one of, if maybe not the first ever show match that we had Dark on, we had him against Ahmad, and Ahmad was able to get that win in a very close one. Best of five went to game five, but Ahmad was able to clear. We'll see if Dark can write a different story this time around as playing from the upper bracket is going to be so much easier in the quest to be next-gen champion. These guys looking to add their names to the list alongside Daniel, Chronic, and Rewas, a very prestigious, if you ask me, group of tournament winners. The next one we'll find out over the course of this weekend. Dark is going to score first after a full minute of midfield play between Ahmad and himself. He's able to drop this dribble to the ground and score the first goal. These have the two best mechanics in this tourney, IMO. A lot of players are saying that Dark is the best mechanical player, period, right now. Not just in next gen, but in all of the game. Could be true. You never know. He is very impressive. Ahmad. I remember him being a little bit more of a smart type ones player. And we've seen the battles of smarts versus mechanics, game sense versus speed. There's a big mix. One of the nice things about 1v1 is you get to see such a wider array of play styles and abilities. And many different things are viable in this game mode. But FUS is our premier scout. Our talent scout tells us that we have the two most mechanical players, so we're inclined to believe him. Ahmad is going to read this hook shot in the midfield from Dark perfectly. Ahmad has always been the mechanical type. Ahmad from Iraq, by the way. We've had Ahmad on a couple times. Not sure what his record is on stream, but we've already brought up his most important game on stream, which was the one where he played against Dark and was able to get the win. Dark has gotten some very impressive wins in the meantime. He's been able to show off at the highest level. And the last thing for him is the consistency. If he can handle players, you know, at Ahmad's level, high top 100 players who maybe aren't the best in the world, like some of the other players he's beaten, that's when he'll truly ascend to join the rest of the top ones players in the game. Right now, a little bit of counterattack for a third goal. Big kick up from Dark. One of the most convincing, if not the most convincing in all of 1v1. He's going to immediately boom a high arcing power shot off of the bounce. I'm going to pre-jump. Take it away. I think I'm going to be forced back off the ball, though. To the midfield. He goes, and now Dark. He loves his bounce dribbles. But lost control of this one. We're here talking about him being the most mechanical player in the game. That was not one of his better setups. Oh, Dark almost just caught Ahmad red-handed. He left that wide open. Dark couldn't find the angle. He still continues it, though, for the eventual goal. Found Ahmad so high up in the corner for the demo. Ahmad knew it was coming and did his best to avoid it, but it still didn't matter. Direct kickoff goal for Dark. This one was looking closer at the start, but now Dark has gone on a bit of a roll. 5-2. Unfortunately, make it 6-2. Unfortunately, if Ahmad does win the tournament, he'll be the only tournament winner that doesn't have an obvious future in the RLCS because 
Iraq, unfortunately, not allowed to participate in the RLCS. Be a seventh goal for Dark. 7 2. It's just. Scales are really tipping in Dark's favor. Someone told me you're not sure. He said he can play if you played outside around. Yeah, I think he just has to move. You know, I think you just have to be playing. Oh, what a save. You have to be playing in a country that's allowed to participate. It doesn't matter where you come from. Dark, maybe faking like he's going to take that ball back into his half, but drives around it. He's able to pull Ahmad out of net. The boost steal. It's not going to be enough to keep Dark from getting an 8th goal. Power slide cut from Dark. Decides to delay it and not actually take it on that first attempt. And Ahmad able to counter. Then Ahmad can be a 1's exclusive. We need more of them. We only have Moxie right now. That's true. You know, I'm very excited to watch Moxie and his development in 1's and I think I think it's probably a good thing for Moxie to take over as potential best in the world in 1v1 because it shows what focusing on the game mode can do for you. Certainly wouldn't mind having another player like that. Hello to everybody who's maybe catching their first live stream. Great to have you here. I see the kid Chewy here for the first time. Dark, getting a bit aggressive, but he's able to undercut. Ahmad, he missed this boost, and the head is open. I mean, it's not impossible that Ahmad comes back. We were talking about a, what was it, 8-2 lead, and now a little under a minute. Three goals to make up. Just needs a few solid kickoffs, and Ahmad all of a sudden right back in it. Little camera check. See where Dark is. Dark is underneath the play. Ahmad reset. Wave dash. Look at this shot from Ahmad. In such a crucial moment, he needs a goal if he wants to stand a chance on this take. And the reset was constantly threatening the right side of the net before he lands, wave dashes, and sends it the complete opposite direction. Dark never stood a chance. It gets a take like that, delay kickoff. Dark actually able to tap it right around him. And will he be able to find a tight angle? He will! Ahmad own goals it as he forces it into that top left corner. Bit of a cheeky take from Ahmad to delay that kickoff so greatly. But it's probably what he needed if he wanted to find his way back. He's going to have a good opportunity here as Dark clips himself on the crossbar. Ahmad trying to punish the creep out from Dark by going over the top of him. But with that shot being wide, it's probably the end of this game. I'm not sure it's possible now for Ahmad to bring it back with three goals. What is that flick? Impressive flick. Dark in and out of the nets. Able to clear this away. He's going to get 10 goals. 10-6 with two seconds left to go. Are we going to see one more clip from Dark? Not likely. It'll hit ground. Game one. Goes to dark. Game number two. Dark. Starting with the first chance off kickoff, rolling it straight down the center of the field. I'm not able to control it. Now into an air dribble. Not likely he's going to be able to 50 that in when it's so close to the crossbar. In fact, dark will counter. Score first. I'm not attempting to read this fake kickoff. Chip shot plays right into Dark's hands, though. Dark. 
to his favorite position, the full field dribble. The Pogo sends it away. Ahmad looking to counter out of the corner. Can't quite get the flick to capitalize. Dark not going to be able to get his own corner boost. Using some dashes, though. Try and stay relevant in the play. This 50 is favorable for Ahmad, but Dark so quick off the wall after losing it. Ahmad can't force it in. Dark managed to not let an angle be available for Ahmad to force that through, which is quite the feat. Ahmad now probably going to be forced out of the blue half. And it's going to be another full field dribble for Dark. Ahmad doing his best to approach back to play, but does pull off the musty from Dark. No double. Does win the race to the corner boost, which means it will continue to be Dark on offense. Places this one top right, and Ahmad made a mistake. And Dark backflip this no. Ahmad recovers in order to not let Dark through. How is that pre flip? Able to give Ahmad the boost. I thought for sure Dark was going to get there before him. Dark, the fake, ends up being exactly what he needed. I'm not sure. I want to watch from Ahmad's perspective to see what he read here. Yeah, he's just expecting the ball to accelerate at all. If the ball had any extra movement on it, then Ahmad's backflip was timed well to send it out to the midfield, but instead it was slow rolling its way in and sneaks behind Ahmad another kickoff goal, 3-0 Dark once again taking a big lead and Ahmad neutralized it a bit with a kickoff goal of his own I say big, but this only three in the first couple minutes. Just been such a low scoring affair. But it's felt like a domination from him. Ahmad saving this off the back wall. That was actually an open position for Dark. If he could have kept that low enough, I think Ahmad swung too far wide to fully protect the net. Chase down now from Ahmad. Trying to just force it through low. I thought we were going to see a demo attempt or just a possession play where you take it across the net, steal the 100, and look to starve out the defender. But Ahmad thought he could maybe just force it right through at ground level. Ahmad has boost to work with. Dark trying to steal it all. Look at this shot from Dark. The wall dashes will work. As he picks up 100, but he wall dashes to get himself into position and finds the tight angle out of the corner. Ahmad losing this kickoff into his back corner. I say losing, but it is going to be his first possession. So maybe still an advantage for him. Nice flick. Able to air roll, get a good amount of extra power off that backflip. Dark wanted that boost to spawn at midfield. It spawns only after he leaves. Ahmad took a break for a good amount of time, I think, because of school. And I know after a month or so or a couple months of Ahmad not being available for show matches, he hit me back up saying I can play now I can play once again so get me in whenever it makes sense and I don't think we've been able to get him in until this next gen tournament here today but it's great to have him here we talked about it before but I'm at the oldest participant in the tournament turning 15 next month Ooh, what a shot from Ahmad wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to keep this angle Ahmad gets the reset as he taps the ball off the back wall and uses the dash to cut it just inside the post. Dark pop setup to himself. Probably felt like he had to go up 
to take that early shot. As the ball took its sweet time coming down to the ground, Ahmad was likely to be able to intercept it. Ahmad able to escape and almost baited Dark into thinking he had a chance there with that first touch. Dark thought he saw enough separation to make a play on the ball and considering how little boost he had, maybe he felt like he was forced into some kind of early challenge. But it doesn't work. And Ahmad able to tie the game. Fake kick out for Dark. It is crossbar and out. Right to Ahmad who is probably going to lose control of it here. I don't think the shot is really threatening enough and he goes all in. It's going to be a dark goal. Talking about how I felt Ahmad was in a poor position. He didn't seem to think so if he's going to be attacking the ball with a front flip and 12 boost. That is the behavior of somebody who expects to make a connection because you know you're getting scored on if you don't. Ahmad, long distance flick. Gets Dark onto the back wall. Decides to attack the ball but not go all the way for it. You see this from players who are forced to make saves, but they send the ball high. They'll land, quickly attack, and then dive. But instead, Dark comes all the way out just as a fake, and that leaves an opportunity for Ahmad to just pop it over the top of him and tie the game. Kickoff win for Ahmad. A boost grab, decides not to pre-flip and take the shot. Dark does have to entertain the idea that he might though. So there was an angle for a shot. It's gonna be Ahmad in the final seconds. He can't let it hit the ground as he gets the ceiling reset, attacking the net. He gets it in, Ahmad! Able to tie the series and he doesn't need overtime. Dark with only 23 boosts to work with off of the right side of the net. Cannot get to the ball all the way on the other side. Clutch performance from the Iraqi player to tie the series. Game number three. Dark and Ahmad continue their battle. And it looks like we might be in store for another close one. Ahmad showing the zap dash there, that landing wave dash that a lot of players are working into their game. I would put Dark as one of the best doing it outside of Zapatos. Ball to air dribble for Dark. Ahmad off the ceiling. Dark tried to go over the top of him, but Ahmad actually able to intercept it. Such an aggressive defensive play. And it pays off for Ahmad who is now having to protect this ball. I don't think that he actually could have. I think Dark could have challenged and taken it at a height that Ahmad would not have been able to deal with, but a bit more passive play from Dark. Actually now looking at the boost he was dealing with. Never mind, Dark could not have challenged him up that high. Of course, you guys with the fancy new overlay get to see both players boost at all times. Dark, air dribble from his own half. Yeah, this 50 is likely to go in his favor. When you have a shadowing defender almost matching your speed on the way back to net, it's gonna be nearly impossible for them to get the kind of redirection they'll have to, to avoid the dunk. I'm not gonna take this one back into the orange corner. Dark has been doing a lot of diving, but not pulling the trigger on challenges. Although this should be a goal for him. Ama did not have a read on this play. I mean, he thought he was going to somehow win the race to the ball when he clearly was going to be second best. What fancy new overlay? You don't see it? It is very low key. Yeah, I like it. I like a good low-key overlay, obviously, as my previous overlay was just about as low-key as it gets. Dark, looking to throw the pogo, but it goes for the pogo counter. 
You see Ahmad looking to backflip into him as he hit the ground. Dark, the way that he uh, counteracts somebody trying to steal the ball there is by using the flip early. He always falls into the pogo with the flip. Of course, for multiple reasons. One, to be able to protect the early challenge, but two, because the, the finishing shot usually requires a flip anyways for it to actually get past the defender. Dark wants Ahmad to back off and he gets what he wanted. Straight dribble down the center of the field, hook shot. Is placed into the corner by Ahmad who can't quite get underneath the ball. Trying to set up a dribble and flick. Interesting decision from Dark to just Immediately boom the ball past Ahmad, but very likely lose control of it. Now low 50, Dark did enough to buy himself enough time to get back. Wants his full field dribble and I think he's going to get it. Ahmad forced to the midfield. He keeps trying to see if he can stop him from getting to his spot, but there's the pogo, the backflip. Drops the ball. Right in Tamad's hands, who now has an open position. Couldn't really capitalize on it. Dark is going to have a late recovering defender. A dream scenario for him on this setup. And can he go top right? No, Ahmad, what a great read. It's not easy to make those saves. And Ahmad has placed himself perfectly the past couple times. That demo will be a goal for Ahmad. What a defensive stand from him. He has finally earned himself a goal. Wasn't able to grab the boost. Dark single jumped to avoid the initial demo, but couldn't avoid the follow-up. Ahmad, the fake kickoff. He's going to get a full field dribble of his own. Dark is pre-jumping it, and then he just slightly delays the start. Dark, though, able to calmly collect it. And he's going to go once again to this left side of the field. Full field dribble. Will he go to his pogo? I'm at his pre-jumps. No, he's going to carry it this time. The musty fake, and he goes low. You just see Ahmad going through everything in his head. What is Dark going to do this time? Turns out it's going to be a low catch and a cut away from the second pre-jump that Ahmad made. A minute left to go. A crucial game number three at stake for whoever scores next potentially. Dark, once again in his favorite spot. He's taken so many of these dribbles from the back. Right, left corner, I guess, from his perspective. Ahmad's gonna be forced back. And what are we gonna see? Are we gonna see another full field dribble from the back left corner boost? Yes, we are. Strong first touch, lean back into the reset. The pinch shot bounces slowly. Ahmad gets the first, trying to be in and out of the net to continue it, and he does. Very impressive mechanics from Ahmad in net. I mean, lots of players would have lost control and not been able to protect the follow-up. Dark has still had the advantage. It's been Ahmad doing his best to stay alive late on defense. Dark can't find the angle. Ahmad might get the final say in this game. He's going to try and musty this in from long distance. Dark off the backboard. Ahmad, the follow-up, the goal! Ahmad! Two straight zero-second game wins. I didn't think it was possible to get this one to net, but Ahmad finds the way with the musty, and the follow-up is something that Dark cannot recover to stop. Two straight games for the Iraqi player. One game away from taking the win. Game four. This one has been about as exciting as you could hope for. Ahmad able to get a couple late victories. Can he do it a third time in a row? Dark has been looking to get mechanical in the past few moments. It's actually a great interception and a bump. Is Dark going to turn this into a goal? Dark had what a lot of people would consider a, a very poor setup. 
a very risky setup that should have led to getting scored on, but he actually adjusts late to make sure to bump Ahmad as he comes to the ground, and then one more bump to actually secure the goal. So, Dark doing a great job of playing the second plan when those aerials don't work, and that's always been what's most important about players who like to play the more risky play style. That include things like air dribble pokos that Dark does. You need to have great second and third plans when it doesn't go your way. Ahmad has actually been the first player I've seen really get Dark back with those fake kickoffs. Normally Dark gets a ton of three possessions of his own with his fake kickoff, but Ahmad's had some just the same and Dark can't react to the shot. He's got boost to work with. He's just really sitting and waiting for Ahmad to make his final play. And he felt like he could get that save, I'm sure. All he can do is slow it down. It's off the post and in. Dark gets a full field ahead of himself. He's liked two staples of his offense, which has been these hook shots on the ground, the rolling setup, and of course his full field dribble, which are two plays completely on the opposite side of the spectrum, but Ahmad is going to do exactly what won him the previous game. He's going to show you the kind of power you can get off a musty. Launches it into the net right at the top shelf. Three one lead for Ahmad. Dark gonna launch one right at the top left corner, which is a game plan that relies on continuing to keep Ahmad pinned, but he does not keep Ahmad pinned. Ahmad's able to push the ball right back into the blue half. Dark saves this one onto the crossbar. Ahmad escapes, and Dark might be out of position enough to not be able to make it back. Ahmad recognizes the best play is just to continue the possession. Low 50 pops the ball high. Ahmad the reset to get the power he needed. He is popping off right now. So far in this series, the only dominant performance that we've seen was actually from Dark. I feel like when the series started, Dark was heavily in control. Since then, Ahmad has gotten two very close wins, both on zero seconds after some comeback. This time, he's trying to take control, up 4-1. Once again, has Dark pinned in his net. Ahmad sends this one to the ceiling, and Dark, his last ditch effort was to try and find Ahmad and connect with him on a bump. He had 11 boosts to work with. That ball is so high, there's no way he's going to be able to prevent Ahmad's goal unless he can knock him off his path early. Ahmad, when he just kick off, able to collect a dribble on this high bounce, coming off the ceiling. Dark directs the ball into the corner with an impressive display of a goal line 50 and that was a relinquish of control of the ball Ahmad making a bit of a mistake there by hitting that ball so hard off the wall Dark will have a bounce dribble Ahmad is jumping behind it Dark's just going to roll it right at him Ahmad escapes the demo to get this midfield boost right as it spawns Dark looking to do another one of his deep dives where he doesn't challenge and he's been caught out so many different times when he does this all the way to the ball, almost even past the ball, without ever making a real play on it. If he wants to do these deep dives to shadows, he might have to do them just a bit shallower. He needs to find some offense right now because everything has been pointing to Ahmad. Dark redirects this to the corner. Has a power shot and hits it. A minute 42. Dark is a creative kickoff player, so that could certainly bring him back in this game. Deciding not to dive into Ahmad's corner 
an attempt to win that boost. He looked to try and drive through the ball. I think he was looking for a demo, regardless of where the ball went. Still in a decent position now. Because he should be able to take control of this, or at least prevent Ahmad from getting a real easy shot attempt. Dark, in fact, ooh, just barely off the post and out. Now Ahmad has real control. He's gonna rush straight down the field and miss wide, so Dark. Feels like he needs to score on this attempt. He's gonna go air triple bump. Ahmad, able to get just enough on it. Take both Dark and the ball just outside the net. Minute left to go, really high bounce for Dark. Not what he needed in that position. He needed to control the ball, keep it low. He wasn't gonna be able to reach the ball with that high of a bounce. Ahmad has neutralized the game in the midfield. Cannot seem to find any answer. Thirty seconds left to go, and Ahmad is on the verge of a win. I don't think we're going to see four straight goals. Long shot, and that should secure it. In fact, Dark has left the game. Ahmad is going to move on to play fast in the winner's finals. Dark, going to have one more life. We're going to have to fight it through the lowers.